Hey everyone, um, this is a sort of a two-part video. I want to do, give you a bit of an update on uh, my car, and my channel, and uh, and fly, and give you the uh, uh, take you for a drive in my friend's RX3 that I drove while I was in New Zealand. I'm just back from New Zealand. Um, it's a 20-hour flight, and I got on at like three o'clock in the morning, so I'm a little bit jaded. Um, but I had a lot of fun in New Zealand. I got to drive some neat cars and see my family and friends, which is always good. Um, first thing I want to do is read some comments and the first comment comes from a user Trihawk8. Uh, he writes, very shameful auto. I think he's referring to the automatic transmission in my E30. Uh, Hurry up and get your M4 already. Well, good news there is the M4 is at the dealer. Um, it's just getting its uh, protective bra put on the front and whatever else dealers do to the car before they hand it over to you. So this week I'll go and pick it up. He continues, you should do a first impressions video or delivery video on it. Well, yes, I will do exactly that. I'll take my, uh, my GoPro and uh, you guys can see me drive the car for the first time and I'll give you my uh, first drive impressions. And then as I uh, have the car for a few weeks and, uh, and get some miles on it, I'll do some, a more detailed review of it. And I'll probably do a review um, of the options that I got on it. I, I got just about all the options on the M4, so... Um, I'll take you through the options so that anyone else looking to buy an M4 has an idea of what the, what the options are, because certainly <laughs> my dealer had no clue about any of the options, so it would be helpful to people buying one if, uh, if somebody could tell them what, what each option does and whether it's worthwhile. Uh, and then he continues, um, I seriously am drier to see it. Well, I'm seriously drier to see it as well. Then he shouts, and why no comedic comments at the beginning and end? Well, once again, good news, I'm doing that for you right now. And the first one comes from uh, Teddy Bass123. Teddy Bass writes, is it just me or is this guy a complete tool? No, Teddy, it's not just you. Northwest Bio writes, you got so old since we last saw you. Uh, this is true, I do get older all the time. Owen Davis writes, hey Nick. How about test driving the new Porsche Macan? I think it would tick a lot of boxes for you. Well, as it turns out, I have been doing just that. Um, my um, stepmom in New Zealand is buying one. Uh, so we took one for a drive, and I am very, very impressed with that vehicle. They are going to sell millions of those Macans. Um, it really is uh, a lot of things to everybody. It really is a very sharp performing um, roomy little SUV. Um, one of the things I loved about it, um, one of the details I loved about it was the steering wheel. Uh, the steering wheel encompasses all the buttons that I like, um, plus the paddles. So normally in a Porsche you've got to pick between paddles or buttons, with the Macan you get both. So hopefully that steering wheel trickles down to the rest of the uh, Porsche range um, because it is an excellent steering wheel. Um, so anyway, back to the McCann. Uh, so my, uh, my stepmom's car will be in New Zealand in about three months' time. Um, so at some stage, hopefully, I'll get back to New Zealand and, uh, and do a review on her one and get her impressions on it as well. But yeah, a very, very lovely car. They are just going to sell millions of them. Um, the next comment is from Mazak, who writes, If you live in the US, your accent is probably considered funny. Um, well, the interesting thing about my accent seems to be that the more time I spend with New Zealanders, uh, obviously, the stronger my accent gets. So my accent comes and goes depending on who I'm with. Um, so just back from New Zealand, my accent's probably a bit stronger, but as time goes on, it seems to fade. And then if I talk to my family on Skype or whatever, it jumps up again. Um, Darren Derrick writes, Anyhow, that is my new favourite word. Well... As it turns out, Darren, while I was in New Zealand, I spotted this um, vanity plate, or personal plate, as they are called in New Zealand. Um, there's many interesting things about driving in New Zealand, not just driving on the other side of the road. Um, New Zealand has some pretty neat roads to drive on. They're very twisty. It's a lot of fun driving in New Zealand. Um, but, yeah, there's some, some... After living in the States for quite a few years, I, I, I go back to New Zealand, I notice a, a few things I didn't used to notice when I was there. One of them is that it doesn't matter how shitty the engine in your BMW is, you will have an M badge on your BMW. Everyone has an M badge on their BMW in New Zealand, it seems. 
another thing about driving in New Zealand is you get to see a lot of um, older cars. New Zealanders tend to keep um, older cars longer and, um, and so you get to see a lot of 60s and 70s cars like this, this car. Uh, I think it's a uh, Austin Imp driving on the highway. Um, yeah, uh, the other thing about New Zealand is we get uh, a lot of um, Japanese car cast-offs. In Japan, they, they experiment with models and see whether they sell in the, in the Japanese domestic market, and if they don't sell, they don't, they don't export them to anywhere else. And so New Zealand gets a lot of those, and they've got, some of them have got, um, some of them are pretty weird cars, but what I like about them is some of their names, like there's the Mazda Bongo or the Nissan Homey, um, but this one's my favourite. Um, this one here, I, I was driving behind um, on Friday, and it's the Toyota Corolla Super Windy G. <laughs> nice one, Toyota. <laughs> that is the best car name yet. Anyway, on with the uh, comments. Uh, the final comment for today, and probably the best one, comes from Buff Guy with a Big Dick. <laughs> You know the comment's going to be good from him. He writes, Hey Nick, have you ever gotten a road dome while driving? If not, I suggest you go buy a prostitute for 30 minutes and experience the thrill of getting a BJ and almost crashing because her head bobbed up and knocked your arm off the steering wheel. Ah, the internet, yes. So anyway, um, the only other update I've got is that I have got me one of these. Um, drones with the uh, with the stabilizing gimbal um, to improve my car reviews. Normally I use uh, a steady cam which I'm pretty useless at um, so I'm hoping having this uh, will, will get me some new angles when I'm reviewing cars. You'd think that being a pilot I would be a shoo-in for flying um, <laughs> camera um, drones but not so far. <laughs> I have crashed it into the neighbor's house. <laughs> I have crashed it into my fence. Uh, I spend most of the time chasing the dog with it. Um, so hopefully I'll get a little bit better at it before I do my uh, M4 review. Otherwise, I don't know, it'd probably be pretty entertaining uh, footage, me crashing my, uh, my drone into my new M4. But um, yeah, hopefully we'll get some great footage from that. Um, and uh, I hope uh, hope to get a decent M4 review out to you shortly, as well as a few other cars I have in the works. It's just finding the time to review other people's cars. So anyway, on with the um, the RX3 uh, review. Um, I'd like to thank my friend Ian for letting me drive it. Um, it, it really is a fun car to drive, um, and uh, and you know it's uh, Ian has a lot of cool cars in his garages, but uh, the RX3 was the one that I wanted to tinker with. So yeah, on with the review, and um, if you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments below, or um, uh, or you can email me at my email address, which I'll leave at the end of the video. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, look forward to seeing you all again in my next video. Bye. Okay, so I'm here at my friend Ian's place, and he's got some uh, he's got some cool cars here, including my car. And uh, but the car we're really here to see is um, is his RX3. We're going to take a spin in this. So yeah, tell us about the Dark 3. It's on my head here. So I see it's a super deluxe edition. Yes, and for a start, it's actually it's not a real RX3, it's like an 808. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we can go and buy the, uh, buy the 808 coupe. Yep. And um, then throw a rotary into it. Nice. And then get it looking like an RX3 original, because it's really hard to find the originals. Um, but yeah, basically exactly the same as an RX3, other than it, it has a much The uh, naturally aspirated engine um, it used to be fuel efficient, but obviously yeah. with a rotary, um, yeah. probably getting around about 12 miles per gallon. Nice, nice. So uh, you can use those for the fuel. Yeah. Alright, start her up. Right. 1977. Uh, pretty quiet, Nick. Yeah, pretty quiet. Yeah. No drama. No all. drama, no.
Let's have a look inside here. I love the detail you've got here. Yeah, no, we'll sort of the green. Yeah, yep. the lime green. Do the lime green, yeah. Lime accents on them. Yeah. So, um, you like the Momo, so, yep. you know. Yeah, it's nice. Japanese car with a little bit of Italian. Yep. Even the, even the tax got green on it, nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I didn't do that. I, yeah. had, a, I had a mate that pulled all this together, so. Yeah. Pretty happy with the job there today. Yeah. No, it's like pretty, a spin. Pretty small inside, isn't it? Like your, uh, not quite yet, your uh, new car. Yeah. So all the gauges and everything work? Um, yeah, the, the rev count is pretty hopeless to be honest, oh, yeah. but yeah, everything else works. The clock's been stopped at 4 o'clock oh, yeah. 20 odd years, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's right two times right. a day. Yeah. yeah. Here we are on the RX3. There's, there's not much clutch. So not much clutch? Oh, so it bites really quick. Bites real quick. Okay, so we're heading back the same way? Or we're going in the loop? Um, we'll just, just go for a cruise along here. We'll, we'll, yeah, I'll show you where to go. It's actually easier to drive than you think. Oh, the steering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to be a bit careful on the old yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so not too bad 
there for a, um, a 1.3 litre yeah, yeah. engine egg. Yeah. Takes a little getting used to. It's got Woolwood Mormots on the brakes, so she's got decent brakes. Oh, yeah. Standard brakes are a nightmare for her. I'd imagine. one. 